Por el levantarse. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo amaneció? Bien. Ah, muy bien. Talacahuina es una small city. This is a city, very old city, in the in the people mind. And now we have one door open to to learn another language. Many people in this city is working in the farm for low salaries. And I think all PCA students have a big opportunity to take a different job. About six years ago, my wife Deborah and I started Palaquina Christian Academy here in Palaquina, Nicaragua. It started as a preschool and every year we grew it one year at a time until now it is a preschool and primary school. You like to sleep. Who likes to sleep? Our motto is changing a generation with God's help. And the idea of that is not only making them a generation that's bilingual, but it's also about teaching values. A big thing here at PCA is about teaching values. He aprendido muchos valores como fe, humildad, esperanza, valentía, y muchos más amor. I have a big opportunity to help many child, poor child, they, they need and love and education, good education. Los abrace cuando sus padres se han ido de este país. Ellos han buscado el refugio en mí y siento que eso me ha pegado muchísimo a los niños también porque hay niños que sabemos con diferentes problemas de sus hogares y aquí los hemos recibido con amor. Normally when you think of private schools, you think of only the most wealthy kids and we do have some of those kids here whose parents are doctors, who are engineers, who have great jobs. But there are also a lot of kids here who are poor. And that's the big focus of PCA is that it's not only for the rich kids who have money, but it's also for the poor kids who normally wouldn't be able to afford an opportunity like this. The community, I think, particularly in Palacowina, they super happy. I don't think they ever realized that something like this was possible. When we came here, we were told that people would not care about education, they would not support their kids. What we have seen is the exact opposite. We have had all kinds of projects that the parents, the community has raised money for, has participated in to complete, and it's amazing. Vemos la infraestructura que viene a realce también a nuestro municipio y realmente viene a dar un valor agregado, ¿verdad? Vemos también el cambio en generar empleo. Son muchas personas que tienen la oportunidad de estar trabajando y eso significa dinamizar la economía en nuestra familia. The other impacts that we make are directly with people's lives. So not only with the, the money aspect of it, but we build homes, we've built bridges, we feed, we have feeding programs around uh, all around the area. So we have a lot of impact even beyond just a school in making this community better and helping people every day in their everyday lives. At this moment, the, the minimal salary in Nicaragua is $275. That is what as a person can do by month. But if they have English skill, they easy can make a salary of seven or $800. So by having English in their education profile, allow them to have more opportunity in Nicaragua and of course around the world. He visto muchas caras felices de niños que están en cuarto y quinto grado. Recuerdo que los vi cuando vinieron aquí a preescolar muy pequeños. No podían leer, no podían escribir. Y ahora ellos están hablando inglés, están compartiendo con personas que vienen de Estados Unidos. I say this is the best school, the best school in Palacaguina. A mí me gustaría ser veterinaria para ayudar a los animales y a las personas que no pueden pagar. Eh, pagar. Quisiera ser una persona de bien, ser bombero para ayudar a las personas que me necesiten. Eso es indudable, que los niños donde vayan 
van a marcar esa diferencia porque su aprendizaje es significativo. My little daughter is just five years old. She's in second level. She studied here. She's really smart and she's really happy in this school. She loves this school and the teachers and the teammates too. For a, as a parent, not as a teacher, I can tell you the most important thing to, to be a part of this, to see my daughter growing up, learning English, because this is going to be the best for her, for her future. Gracias Dios por todo tu amor. Amén y Amén.